we're going to use a bingo dauber so we need to get it flowing and I'm gonna use a test paper on the side and I can see it's scratchy looking so I can give it a very gentle squeeze to try and get more ink flowing to flow it has to be pressed flat on the paper and you have to move quickly point to this area on your paper it's a little bit off center to the side you're going to start a spiral which means you have to leave space as you go around and around your previous line and it gets a little bit bigger every time you go around and by the time you get to the edge of your paper on the right side you'll need to stop your shell then I'm gonna make kind of a banana shape coming out from the bottom of the shell and I'm gonna give it a closed tip and I'm gonna add two sort of longish antennae with a stick and a circle. Inside each I'm doing a cartoon snail so his eyes are up there and a little smile right in the top of the banana shape. You need to let this dry and so if you see any shiny wet ink you will not color on those parts and sometimes Miss Yao can come around and dab or an adult can dab the ink with a paper towel and get it dried up for you. Now you get to begin your own pattern and I started with my favorite color in the set and that's a bright pink and I know that I want to alternate that pink with another color so I'm leaving space. By doing all of my pink first I'm kind of saving some time. I don't have to put it down and pick up another crayon or pastel and you want to do at least three of your pattern. So I wanted to go pink, green, pink, green, pink, green, so that people can get the hang of my pattern. If I only go pink, green one time, then no one will know that it's a pattern. And I decided to even add one more, a fourth repeat of my pattern, and go pink and green, just to make sure that my viewers can see a pattern on my art. I'm going to do a new one. Zigzag line. Zigzag line. Zigzag line. Zigzag line. And I decided I wanted to color those in. So I found the space behind the lines where I would like it to be blue. And you get the idea. And then the areas on the other side, yellow. Super cool. My snail's looking like a race car. Now I'm trying wavy, 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 wavy. Dot, dot, dot. Wavy, 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 dot, dot. You get the idea. So now I'm starting a long pattern. I decided I wanna go down all 12 colors. And so I can do this once, but to make it a pattern, I have to do it at least twice or three times. So I go through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then I have to go back to the top and do it all over again to make it a pattern. And you get the idea, turned out cool. I have to think up some more patterns. I'm trying one with shapes. Square, square, triangle. I like it, it looks like an arrow. Square, square, triangle. And you know what comes next. So when your shell is done, you can color in your snail body and you can add some ground color. There you go.